Hey guys, um, so I have been procrastinating my vlog for the longest of time and I promised I was going to do a makeup video because I'm still learning. <laughs> you guys should not laugh at me. So this is, I'm not a pro in any way. Please, this disclaimer should be heard. But in between my makeup, I just want to be discussing things that you know i just feel like sharing because maybe let's call this therapy or whatever i don't know where it could lead to because in my head i'm like okay let's just sit down do my makeup when i know i honestly don't know what to say so i'm just going to be here and tell you guys stuff so everything pertaining me my life the ones that I know I can tell you <laughs> um, and record the being movie industry everything anything necessary to be honest I don't know what I'm talking about anyways first things first is I'm cleaning my face I'm using facial wipes <laughs> I'm full like all these makeup actors welcome to my youtube channel guys my name is Dan Russell your makeup artist and I'll be showing you guys how to beat your face how to slay <laughs> your face i think this will be my intro <laughs> so first off make sure you get a wipe uh, clean your face make sure it's clean zabidi 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 zip tada so the next thing i see my makeup artist do is you know she treats the skin so nice if i do say so myself um so I'm just going to be moisturizing my skin. To be honest, I don't know the amount I need, but I'm just going to use it when I normally. I hope I'm speaking loud. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, um, a lot of people have been, I don't say harassing me, but <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me, hey, Diane, what's up? When is your call coming out? Blah, 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 blah and i haven't been able to give like a precise answer because most times you know where it seems like something is coming and then at the end of the day when you are almost close the devil just comes and tries to you know shake you up a bit but baba god get me covered so most times it's like i've had people that it will seem like it's about coming and then it just ends up not happening but i've been so hopeful and i'm um, trusting god for certain miracles to happen you get me and if it's not happening now i mean maybe this is me trying to give myself you know hope or all of that thing if it's not happening now probably there is a reason it's not happening now maybe it's just not the time but so far i think it should be coming soon because i've had positive meetings with certain brands and yeah please guys make sure that when this brand come on board you guys should be hyping them you get me because it's not easy for a brand to just come on board for something like this it's more like they believe in you your vision and everything and for me that's it for this brand here yeah. okay so i forgot to see what i was applying yes this is a primer <laughs> anywho so i don't know if they use brush or hand I mean, you can use any. This is me saying, so you can use any. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's get this into the skin. So yeah, um, I've been doing my questions and answers, and I see a lot of people say, "Oh, Diane, come do your question and answer." And today, I just want to talk about certain things here. Yeah, that I feel like this is basically my own observation and how. I feel like I'm growing and understanding certain things. So, I didn't start dating early, I guess. I didn't start dating early. Instead of dating when I was 19. Maybe that's early for some people. Maybe that's late for some people. But anyways, in my head, that wasn't early. So, yeah, instead of dating. And when I see people asking me for relationship advice and all of that stuff, the truth is, whoa. Yeah, I'm not even in a relationship. So, I do not necessarily know how to give people, you get me, um, relationship advice because you know this relationship thing it's not like there's a manual for this thing it's like 
sometimes most people just get lucky and having an understanding partner you guys know because it takes two people to make certain things work here yeah? so having an understanding partner that okay know that okay you so this is what we have and when people talk about love languages which is something i really want to talk about when we say love language what is your love language i've had a couple of people say that somebody even tried to explain to me when i listen to videos with someone on what love languages mean or ah uh, agreement or whatever whatever the english is i guess so after this time i'm listening to this thing and you know um physical touch gifts and uh, some kinds and some kinds things like that i think there are four or five i can't remember them sorry um and yeah it's actually cool that we get to you know have such definition for things but is it possible that some of us whose category is not in there i mean trust me i love gifts i love physical touch i love attention i love quality time i love all of these things you get me it's not like i don't like i like i love everything so i don't think i am a this is more way i am tilted towards you get me or this is i feel like i am in all of them i want all of them but i recently feel like i genuinely know what my love language is and it might not make sense to anybody but it does make sense to me <laughs> so do you do you have this feeling where like something doesn't make sense to you something doesn't make sense to Ed, sorry not to you something doesn't make sense to every other person but it makes sense to you and that's how i feel about this because i feel like my love language is having someone who doesn't stop choosing me and i don't stop choosing the person so relationships are not meant to be hard neither is it meant to be easy blah 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 we all know this stuff yeah but it takes two people willing to make it work i know that okay well, i'm choosing you blah 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 you're choosing me and it's not because like there are not thousands or billions of people that are like more pretty more gorgeous or more whatever than you but i'm choosing you because it's you i choose and that's the same way you feel about your partner so that for me hmm, is my own love language i don't know if it makes sense so just in case you are part of these people that have this like oh i don't fit into all of this category yeah i mean it's not everybody that has something that they will fit into so i'm actually thinking of the next step or the next okay yeah my foundation so now it's i don't even know which one is the foundation brush yeah so i use this brush please do not swallow me for all the makeup artists out there that might be watching this this is just me trying you hear me and so i'm just going to use this to do that so um that is just how i feel about when they talk about all these love languages things and all of that stuff and to be honest somebody also asked me about what do you think about public display of affection do you think you should keep it private or not i want to just ask one question who told you that if you keep your relationship quiet or loud it will make it last it determines it to be honest i don't think it determines it but yeah sometimes it's just good for you to keep it private but that if you want to you get it and it depends on you guys both of you your partner that is not a decision one person can make so like i've been with a guy who his love language i would say one of his love languages he loves you like you know he loves expressing like he will post you and then see how much he feels about you and he'll post you online and that's how he feels and it doesn't mean that because you don't like it you'll not say oh i don't like it so you have to stop or whatever but that's how he feels he can express his love so different people have different forms of expressing their love for me that's why i think oh like i said i'm not in a relationship so mama anything i'm saying right now i'm just saying based off of i do not know but i just feel so and everything and yeah um don't worry we're going to leave this relationship talk soon because it's not like i came here to talk about relationship i didn't <laughs> i came here to talk about a lot of things like a whole lot of things because this makeup is going to be long so maybe this video will be posted four times or five times i don't even know i'm just going to go with the flow so i apply my foundation i still blend more with my blender um, <laughs> um yeah so what was i talking about here yeah, the whole relationship thing yeah um you know sometimes yeah 
when relationships do not work, I used to be one of those people that used to be so hot and so blah blah blah. But this this when relationship don't work out, it's more like yeah. I mean, I get to love you. So, to be honest, I don't think it's everybody we date that we will end up marrying. You get me? Some people just show you how much you get to love. Some people teach you how to love. Some people teach you how not to love. You get me? So whatever lesson you decide to take from your relationship is solely based on what you decide to take out of it. But no relationship is ever a waste. Neither should you regret it. No matter the experience, just like... Good things you came out alive. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, there's a man for every woman, a woman for every man. Say, now so them talk. Oh, I mean, yeah, so, so why I do not want to be doing relationship um, stuff so much is because I always feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah, it's not like you can't have an opinion of something even if you are not in it but i feel like it would be more appropriate when somebody who is in a successful relationship comes and is giving you guys a certain kind of advice you get me because i feel like for what is called in this relationship things it just takes there's no manual there was no there's no book there's nothing nothing you just we all are just freestyling you get me we're all just in a circle of freestyle more you'd be like i go enter the time if you walk you walk if you don't walk i come out you know that's the kind of vibes i get most time so um it's that's why i stopped really doing so much of posting of relationship you can see that i changed my posting to more like how well do you know me so it's more like me bonding more with you guys my fans people that love me so much so that's what i tend to do right now it doesn't mean that okay maybe one or two days i know if you talk about love because i love love we call this about love you get me so it's more like love i love i love talking about things that are in my head so okay let me talk about people that so now relationship out now we're moving to the next topic which is where you always feel like you do not have talent you are not good or great enough yeah so cool story cool story i'm going to tell you guys about what um how for me my own was everybody that because let me tell you i i stayed in kd grew up in kd and um the where i grew up in yeah my church we always have like all this talent then people could sing people could do a lot of stuff yeah and i don't think i've ever said this thing but i think when one of my first time that i didn't have um confidence where i felt a bit shaken was where we had um this this thing where we had to bring a song and it's you know it's just normal a child like we're all kids and everything so now looking back at it here yeah, it's just a but it just shows how much of how much like when a child is traumatized i'm not saying i was i don't know if i was traumatized to be honest but i just feel like it was something unconsciously that i felt and then it just didn't make me speak out as much as i would because when i was little i was like oh, it's so talkative like bruh i'm asking my mom why is the sky blue why is this this why is that <laughs> and then i feel like at some point i just was in a box like for a long time and looking back at it now i just remember that when i was young so like i was saying in we're having this rehearsals like that and they were like we should bring a song for christmas carol if i'm not mistaken yeah and then yeah i was because my primary school was like a christian school and we had of course christmas carol but i'm not using a mirror i'm looking at this so just pardon this makeup if it doesn't turn out as great as <laughs> you think it should um anyway so it's like we should bring yeah, a song. I was trying to bring a song now and um i brought the song that we we're going to sing in my school so i brought it to the church and it's like oh, okay we should try the song so i say i should sing the song i can't even remember the song gazing out my window huh? one special beautiful morning the sun was shining so bright the birds are singing tonas so wonder why this morning was a very special one 
Suddenly I heard the servants of an angel saying, there is born a child. So now this part now goes very high. So I now go, there are the stars. <laughs> then everybody burst into laughter. And they were all laughing at me, like, oh my goodness, I felt so humiliated. And they were all laughing, all laughing. They laughed and laughed. And it took a while before it was silent, yeah? So they laughed at me. And I felt bad. I was like, oh. And then they now shared parts for everybody. Since they gave the parts, this person gave the parts. And I had brought this song. I didn't even get any parts. I was not part of the people that were just doing the mood <laughs> in the background. So I felt sad, like, really, really sad. And then when people when they stay asking for like imputing like stuff like school or whatever i just kept on finding myself keeping quiet oh it took light so um let me just pause it and it will be cut and join video so yeah finally they brought the light back anyways as i was saying so um that made me feel some type of way to be honest i felt bad and i felt sad but i just didn't say anything so Moving forward, after that day, every time that we were asked to say something, bring something, I always just didn't. And when they would say, oh, who wants to do this thing? Or when they were asking for rules or something or to even share something, I never was going to be the person to raise my hand and say, oh, I wanted to do this. I just said excluding myself more, more of. And then, so one thing I don't know if a lot of people know is that I used to play the keyboard, piano. Um, I had somebody who used to teach us, and that was church. Oh God, I love my church. I even miss my church, to be honest. So we had somebody that used to normally teach us how to play um, instruments in church, and I remember I loved it because it was. It felt like one thing I could actually do, like play the piano, it's something that they taught me, and I could do, and I didn't have to do much singing. But later, oh, they now started saying that, oh, you can't be a piano, you can't be a keyboardist and you don't know how to sing. And just kept on forcing me to sing. That's why I, I just ran away and I started dodging practice. And that was it. I think that was how I just disappeared from learning that. And that was just because I didn't have so much confidence again in myself to sing. Especially, like, when they were singing, even if they were to say, ah, I couldn't. That was how insecure about my voice, my singing voice I had. So, um, it just made me realize, like, okay, would should we teach people or teach kids on how to, you know, maybe make, necessarily make a joke, but I mean, they are kids, so I feel like you have to go. So maybe it's more like teaching your kids how to gain certain confidence. Like, even when people laugh at you and you'd be like, oh, okay, this is not your trick. Because if I had known something, I don't know if I should have felt that way, thinking about it now. And I never told my mom. I never told anybody i remember my mom asked me okay why because they even came to report i'm like oh she's not always coming for practice and everything and everything and my mom would be like i'm not telling her to stay i don't know she just stop going out because i mean i i feel like that was everything that changed my life because i just stopped going out for some weird reason i stopped interacting with people and i was indoors mom come back and be like okay go outside literally this woman chased me one day and i said she go outside even if it's just to sit outside the house you get me so I feel like that maybe that was what changed me at some point in my life and then i just became so very enclosed and really didn't interact with so much people and that was a start for it so something i struggled with and most times i i can be like the kind of person that i have an idea you're asking me the idea i'd rather tell somebody yeah and it doesn't matter if that person gets the credit but it's more like the work was done the work was done it was even if it's my idea i brought it so it was crazy but for the longest of time i think feel like that was something that i realized about myself which wasn't so nice and didn't look so great and it took a lot of things for me to real realize that and i'm happy that i got to learn i mean not everybody gets lucky to know some of the things that they should unlearn but I feel like my journey in life has been self-discovery. And every day I'm always thankful for the part of me, the ugly part of me that I find out that I do not like. And even if I'm like stubborn, <laughs> when I think about it, I'm like, okay, Diane, you shouldn't have done that or you shouldn't have done this. And then trust me, like for me, every time 
i feel like ah uh, trust me i go back and think about it and then i'm like okay yeah definitely you shouldn't have reacted this way you should have done this thing and i think people i get angry easily people are like oh, how do you get angry oh more i did vex so but i stopped saying oh sorry i i used to get angry because now it's more like what you confess becomes your truth yeah so i don't get angry easily as much as i used to before and i'm thankful to god for that one because you know at some point it's more like you have to like pray and it's not like you get angry and get violent no my own is just when i get angry i'll just keep malice like <laughs> i'll just not talk to you or anybody or anything like i'll just be on my own for like a day i can literally not talk to anybody because i am very pissed and that's how me i just because sometimes i feel like if i talk if you force me to talk i might end up saying something that i necessarily to be honest don't mean but just because of the spot of the moment or the heat of the moment so it's more like i do not want to regret some things and it's more like back thing it's not even easy you will be saying okay dear this is what you don't want to do but more it's not that easy so um ah, no i think i've spoken too much because i can't remember the thing i was going to say again anyways i saw this thing i don't know if it works or whatever it is but i think it's So, sorry um so that was that that was i feel like that was where me i found out that okay okay this is something that affected me and what not well yeah how you grow from it is what matters the most so again I'm just grateful and thankful. <clears throat> now, what do we talk about again? I have... Um, yeah, so... Now you guys know something about me. I used to play the keyboard. And the song we sang in church where we did the ministration was... Um, I have gone astray a a e I have been so unfaithful when the winds of temptation blows. More. So it's even right now, I don't even get to sing that much. Something I still struggle with, but every day I just. That's why even when people make jokes of my dancing, I'm like, oh, Diane, what are you dancing? Why are you moving like snake? I always tell myself that don't even make that stop you from dancing. Just keep dancing because i'm like you ain't gonna box me anymore you you don't i don't like you know where you are telling yourself that see i don't get to give the world that much power to actually restrict me from doing certain things like you don't get to detect to me that i can't be as great as i think i should be or because i can't do certain things the way every other person does it makes it that i shouldn't be doing it now nah, i'm going to keep practicing eventually i could kill it i could be maybe beyonce or michael jackson in my head no disrespect to them but i'm just saying like you know so most times just tell you oh okay oh, um that 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 like so whenever they say that you're moving like snake or you're doing whatever oh yo i'm going to dance my dance if it does not suit you you can as well skip you don't have to actually watch my story abby that, that's just how i feel about it don't worry i'm See? doing right now eh? I feel like i'm creating a whole mess because i'm not looking i don't I even have like a small mirror that i'm looking at maybe i should have planned for that one it's more like when people are telling you that oh, okay like when they make fun of me oh diane this is your snake dance oh more, i understand this my snake dance is your snake dance it's my snake dance thank you for giving me the name but i'm, I'm gonna stick to it and now it doesn't mean that i'm not going to try to be learning how to dance but eventually maybe i would learn how to dance and if i don't know how to dance i mean that's it that's just it if i don't learn fine if i learn fine so, now this is the dance i can do and if i like a song i'm feeling the song i will have to dance to it so that's it that's that's my new energy because i do not want to ever feel boxed again in my entire life i do not want to feel like because most people do not get to know what it does to people. And 
I mean, now I'm sharing this thing. It's more like I'm just sharing it because I know that somewhere out there, there's a nineteen, there's a twelve-year-old girl, there's a young girl out there somewhere that feels out of place and everything. And most people talk about, oh, you should be more confident in yourself. Well, good for you. A lot of people were lucky or fortunate enough to have so much confidence in themselves at a young age. And that's actually good. It's something that I'll say, oh my goodness, that is so good for you to have. But when you meet somebody who isn't, instead of being harsh or whatever, how about you extend grace a bit? I mean, you get me? Extend grace a bit. Like, try to uplift that person. I want to be so much for all women. In my head, sometimes I feel like, you know what? I mean, I want activists. I want to stand for everything that would help a girl child, empower a girl child. I love it. And there were so many things I had in mind. Although, you know now, there's a difference between having plans and actually actualizing some of these plans because some of these things cost money and everything. But yeah, certain things and whoever could do it should do it. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're just all in this world to make the world a better place. And I feel like when we realize that, a lot of things will be easy. When people say, oh, you're always trying to be good. You're always trying to look good. You're always trying to act as if you're good. I'm sorry. Do you want me to act like a devil? Am I supposed to act bad? Does that make your own ego feel better? Like, does it make you feel better? Because I am trying to be a better person. I'm trying to leave, you know, where everybody are fighting, you know. Because, uh, trust me, we all have our bad sides. We all have our good sides. And... When somebody is trying to shred a part of them that they feel they do not want or they do not want to associate themselves anymore with, like, I do not realize that person anymore and I want to be this person. I have to practice and become this person. And then somebody is saying, oh, why are you trying to be a good person? I'm sorry, but I'd rather, be, I'd rather try to be a good person than to be a bad person, if that makes sense. So... Even if it's for me to start acting the goodness and then it now becomes a it now becomes your truth. Like did they talk fake it till you make it. I don't know if it's applicable to this, but it just makes sense in my head for me to say like when they say fake it till you make it and then before you know it, it starts becoming your truth. So if you are given the opportunity to choose to be anything and I always put this thing in my post and it's something I always post and that's since when I'm young, it's more like ever given the opportunity to be anything i hope you choose kindness or goodness or whatever <sighs> this is my makeup oh. anyways i just hope you choose something you get me so that's just how i feel about it and You guys can call me after this whole makeup. I don't know if I should have powdered my face before I did my brows totally because I feel like Karen does that, but I can't remember it now. And I think the last time I did my makeup, I think I powdered my face before I did the display last week. And I don't know what asked me. Maybe it's because I'm so I'm not so good at multitasking. I'm trying to learn because I always get like more like i want to focus on one thing but i'm trying to learn everything that i feel like i can't do i want to see how to do like see this video i've always been saying i'm going to do this video for months today i said i was going to do three things i was going to try this egg something like most times i see certain recipes here on tiktok or all these hacks and all these things and i say i always want to try them because i love not as much as i love cooking I love cooking like because cooking is something I do when I'm sad, when I'm angry, when I'm mad, when I'm heartbroken, when I'm when I feel depressed or whatever it is, whatever thing that is making me sad at that point in time, yeah. 
I always, 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 always try to cook and it gets me in a better mood. But it doesn't mean that I love cooking as much. I don't know if it makes sense. So I can cook and sometimes I do love cooking, but I don't think I would have to enter the kitchen every day like that. But sometimes when I enter the kitchen, I enter big, you know, I'm doing the whole buffet like let's do the jello fries let's do the fried dress let's do the goosey let's do the this soup let's do the, that so that's that's it for me that's how i do my stuff here yeah, but yeah so i i do that i do that most times like that um so yeah i said i was going to wake up and do everything and luckily I'm doing the last thing I said I was going to. Okay, second to the last thing because I have to read um what's wrong with the Bamidiles. I be something is wrong with the Bamidiles, sorry. So I'm ha I have to read that script because we're shooting very soon. It's a short film. And really, really nice. And I feel like we have amazing actors on board. We've been fighting to disagree in our group. So that's me, I'm a Samist and Abdul and it's more like everybody just wants production to go well but at the same time they fight on so many things so producers we fight with every other person so it seems me and abdul are agreeing then bani and amasa miss are disagreeing with us and it's more from a producing side but anyways it's all love and we all understand that we just want the outcome to be great so that you guys love it when you guys watch the movie and um i have to read that and start rehearsing for my lines i guess so that i do not fall hands because i want to be a dope bump ass actor someday <laughs> um so that's that one um finally guys i'm in school yeah if you didn't know that you just found out <laughs> i'm back in school I'm excited but it's kind of really scary because you know where you've been out of so I've been out of school for like 2017 almost, almost three four years hmm? Twenty three years actually no I think I was it 20 to be honest I think it was in 2016 because I think I came back to Nigeria 2017 when it's let's just say three years anyway so I've been out for from school for three years and finally get to go back to school it's totally different from what i thought i would always do in life so i always wanted to study a science course i loved health and i always felt like i wanted to always do something you know give back to my to the world to society and for me medicine always felt like you know it's a beautiful so i don't know my best series in the world is Grey's anatomy and every time Derek shepherd wears his cap and then he goes it's a beautiful day to save lives like it just made me realize that i really really wanted to so i wanted to do i wanted to study medicine or public health or anything health related but fast forward to life happened went on a show and i said if there was one thing I wanted to always do was find out about myself when I was on the show. And luckily, I was on the show and then I realized, okay, it seems there's something I love doing. I couldn't express myself as much as I want to. Then I found something in how I get to express how I feel about certain things. And that was me telling stories. And oh my. Isn't that amazing? So when... I realized that I said, okay, this is it. I'm going to start telling stories. And then instead, I tell them know that this is what I actually want to do. So, hmm. I hope I'm putting this well. <laughs> So, anyways, um, okay, let me use this pen. So, that was it, man. And 
I am now studying business. Sorry, I'm not studying business management because a lot of people have been asking that what cause I study, what cause I study, and I didn't say anything. Not because I didn't want to tell you guys. I mean, I just I don't know. But yeah, so now I'm telling you guys to everybody that has been DMing me. What cause I study, what cause I study. So I'm studying business management. And it's been I mean I'm studying in global context, so it's more broad for me, I guess. And but I'm enjoying it. And things that I normally didn't care about. I want to be more informed if that makes sense because with the way things are going in our country every day you want to also be involved and know so when people are talking you get to also know certain things so yeah that was one of the reasons why i decided to go for business management because i wanted to find out more about business world and everything that happened to get me then aside that i also just feel like I love money. I want to make money. And I want to be good. <laughs> That's the reason for choosing my course. I I really don't know what more reason I would give you guys. Let me not come and start over over calculating it. I, well, I just let's just say I just love money and I went for the course. But at the same time, also I wanted to find out more about things. So when people talk, like, because I always like I like learning new things. Though. I like learning new things. Sometimes I'm lazy, but sometimes I love learning new things. I want to learn. I want to tell me why it is like this. When I understand, and I work better when I understand something. So if I don't understand something, there's no how I can work or fu function better. But when I understand it, it's like, yes, now I understand it. I can work better. That's how it is. That's how I feel about it, yeah? Mm. <laughs> You guys don't even want to see this table safe because it's just and i'm not even doing so much <laughs> oh my goodness anyways um yeah but i'm having fun in school i guess we had our first live session i get i got to meet a couple of people spoke and yeah so you know where they go with the accent <laughs> sometimes i'm not like really hearing and I'm like, uh, and then I go back to my textbooks, and then I'm like, okay, yes, now I get what they were referring to. But anyways, don't mind me. That was meant to be a joke. I hope you laughed. If it was funny, if it was not funny, well, bad joke, dry joke, whatever. <sighs> so, what else do you want to know? I wish I was doing like a live interactive session, which I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I want to do my eyeshadow now. I saw this trick on someone's TikTok. I don't know if it will work for me, but I'm going to do it. So this lady grabbed tissue paper. She picked a color. She picked like three colors. And she just goes one, like one. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm just going to go with any color right now. Because I'm not going out. I'm actually just going to clean this off. After this whole thing. So I'm just going to go with this. Then let's see the next one I go with. Um, what color will go next? Um, let's go with this one. So next I'm going to go with this. Oh, did I still put it in the same place? Oosh, I did. Anyways, next we go with this. Huh? Um, uh, makeup artist, so oh, bad girl. They don't know what's going on. They don't know. They do not know what's going on. They are not ready. Are you ready? <laughs> um. Anyway, so I saw her do this. Um, so let me get another to do the last one, I guess. So, what color? What color? What color? What color? What color? Let's go with maybe brown. Okay, let me go with this brown because that brown looks a bit okay. Mm. 
Thank you. So she did that then she used her blending brush to blend um i think this was it here so she just blend 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 even like this it still pops in my head though anyways let's do the whole blending i feel like blending takes a lot of patience and it's something that's um, that thing i'm trying to learn i am not a patient person at all i i don't used to be now i'm a patient person let's be positive things let's let's and before i used to joke around with negative things so like most times i could be like oh and it's just as a joke i would joke about it till recently where um pastor was preaching and he said even as a joke you get me you should speak positive things into your life even as a joke like don't get to be making so this because i don't joke as before now i know better i mean and i joke positively into my life if that makes sense Ooh. okay okay i just unlocked something <laughs> Mado. Anyway, so yeah. some slip liner. So I think I don't have the. I think I don't have eye this thing, uh, but I saw one have two of that one, and I want to also try it. Let me see. So you do like this, yeah. since i don't have um line now i'm supposed to apply um lashes which i don't think i have ever tried where is it where is it where is it where is it, where is it? But i'm going to try it to all the vloggers man people that actually do this it's i feel like i've spoken a lot and it feels like i've not said a lot because it feels like i'm looking at everybody here and i'm not saying anything and i hope you guys are impressed with the video because i poured out my heart into doing this <laughs> actually did i did pour out my heart into doing this guys i you sure i'll fix eyelashes so i should just you know skip this part because my nails i don't think my nails will allow me so i'm sorry for today we get to skip this part next time i'll come back prepared i promise you this where is it i promise you that next time i'll come back prepared So, anyways, now that I've gone and spoiled this thing, let me see if I can blend, 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 blend. Okay. Anyway, so. This is one thing me I hate to make up this part. So you have to underline.
Stand. Yes, I don't get forget. So I did the underlying part. I didn't do it very well, but because I'm always like when it comes to my eyes, I'm always really, really shaky. Karen has even suffered with me when she's doing this for me, bro. <laughs> yes. Um so that's that. What again am I forgetting to speak about Diane Russell? Whoa, 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 whoa. I if I were to define myself, I'll say I am a very I I do have my moments, so sometimes I can be really playful. Sometimes I could be down and not wanting to like and not wanting to like you know play and all of that. But in general I think I'm a playful person. I love to keep for trouble. Oh I for trouble. That is like I feel like that is my forty, you know. I love disturbing my friends. I could call you in the middle of the night just to look for trouble. <laughs> I can call up there. Say, Abid, not call me today. I can call like I'm a Samsung. I just look for trouble, to be honest. I disturb my friends. I could just even call them out of the blues, and they would think it's something important. And when I'm saying this call, it could be like two a.m. Cause I know they don't sleep too. So most times it's just banter for all of us. Like, just call to just. to laugh so sorry that i'm calling most of my hmm. um what else what else what else what else what else what else when it comes to friendship here yeah, i'd like to understand what you people think about that you know there are times where in friendship and for me i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing so you meet somebody you guys are actually very very close and all of a sudden not like you guys fought or anything but it just you guys drift apart is that necessarily a bad thing or it's just i mean you just drifted apart now do you meet up with that your friend and be like oh, okay yeah i don't know why but i feel like okay <laughs> so i feel like if you guys know me you guys know that my lips is very very tricky because i'm a glossy person you don't you don't get to do any other thing on my lips apart from this which is gloss so um a very simple makeup your everyday makeup i guess let me see where's the other brush there was i don't know if it's this one but okay let's just go with dusting So, so, My goodness you know where you are doing your makeup yourself and you are feeling like it be like say your your what's it called your before so i'm praying i'm like god i beg go let my before you know come and be oh 
even so sorry i'm using all my hacks that i saw somebody did there eh? i saw somebody do this she dabbed with her powder i don't know if that works because sometimes it just feels like this this thing isn't working this let's just say this was a mistake i wasn't supposed to do this one i don't know how best again to even blend it because i thought i was going to fix my i thought i had eyeliner for some red reason i don't know why i thought i had eyeliner but anyways now that i know that i got none i'm just going to uh, So, having done that, Goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys shouldn't laugh at me. I put my heart into this, yo. I put my heart. And I could be using the wrong brushes. Hey, why does this one look as if it's up? Okay. Voila! Voila for owners, I mean, use blush. <laughs> I mean, voila for owners, even the blush. Okay. Let me first see if I can rectify the situation. Where is that shiny stuff? Okay, here you are. So. I'm ready for influencing makeup product period 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 <laughs> I don't know why in my mind this is looking so flawless in my mind like literally <gasps> ah ah keep on Now you apply your
last last man i feel like i must call myself some cool 8.5 ish i'm just leaving many two point something for those of you that I want to hate and say i'd not do my lashes but bruh right now there is nothing in this world i could not do that's how i feel like i feel like i'm some like i'm killing it like okay oh, let me know overly make mouth now yeah and that one and that one maybe had a little lamp yes yes boo so we are going to do this so annoying because now i feel like going out because oopsie why do i get to clean this makeup maybe i plan to keep browsing like this i really came here and i felt like i was going to just you guys say like i don't have just jeez anyways please make sure you like subscribe share <laughs> of course i said some nice things we make sense with somebody feeling and also you know somebody that doesn't know anything about makeup can come and also <laughs> learn <laughs> so yeah um let me see which gloss will i apply this 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 or that Try this. Mm. So it's a bit, it's a bit distracted because of a message that popped on. Okay, and this is it. This is how you step up, like a bad bitch that you are. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 I, I, hey. <laughs> so guys, this is a wrap. I uh, this is my basic makeup when I want to just step out, and I hope I made you guys proud. <laughs> do i feel like i need to still do a little bit working on my brows and learning what brush to use for everything because we just you know played around everything but i mean things on about i still look cute i guess <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video if you watch it if i even post it but if i post it then it means you watched it and now in my mind i feel like i should talk but i feel like it's going to be long because i think i spent a lot of time talking in between the videos maybe i should have finished the makeup then had the discussion but just what i want everybody to know if i have a young girl watching this youtube channel because at the end of the day to be very honest everything i want to do is positivity for a female child so to that young lady out there to my baby to my sister to my friend to you out there like just keep going keep striving keep being better i mean you'll fail a couple of times i hate feeling i i hated feeling so much but now i think i embrace failure not like i want it to come to me when i say like if i feel i would feel sad i could cry and i'll wipe my tears and get back up but that's about it i'm going to always try to look for another way because truth is when there's life there's hope here yeah? so we just have to keep pushing and hoping for the best in everything that we do so to all my ladies out there know that you are worth it and you can do anything you put your mind to do when you think it you can live it so think it and make it happen Visual, visualize like something i saw was visualize the woman you see 
so if you see that in the next four or five years you want to do this you want to do this visualize how that woman would act and i'm saying this when i'm saying this because even i too want to apply it i want to watch my video back again and come and say okay i said this so let me also be able to live by what i see no perfect i'm still learning and i'm thankful for the lessons thankful for the blessings and the lessons that come thankful for all of them um yeah most importantly i want to say thank you for rocking with me thank you for rocking with me since 2019 to date i love you for those of you who have been working with me longer than 2019, I freaking love you. Thank you so much. So, this is the end of my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I'm not supposing this on Reset TV. I don't know if I should open a new YouTube. I really don't think this vlogging thing. I mean, I'm just trying it to see. If you guys like it, let me know in the comment section. If you love it, then I'm going to continue. And you tell me maybe topics i should talk about next time if you learned something if you didn't i'm sorry but at least you saw me smile <laughs> all right darling so take care do have an amazing amazing week god bless you love you mwah, 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 mwah.